Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's video will be primarily about the new 2023 Corvette C8 Stingray that's coming to the Don's Life garage. Unfortunately, it's not here today physically, but I do have a lot of updates for you. I've got a table full of shipments that have just come in. I want to open those boxes and go through them with you and give you that update. Let's go. Now trying to film with the garage door open, I'm gonna get interrupted every five seconds. Case in point, there comes a vehicle right there. All you can hear is road noise. So I'm not gonna film with the garage door open because we get interruptions like this. So it's a little noisy and distracting. So I'm gonna close the garage. Then I'm gonna give you guys some updates and then we're gonna open those boxes like it's Christmas. All right, let's start with the C8 update. So the C8 is on its way. It's on a train. So it left the plant in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It made it to the Fairfax plant, probably to pick up more vehicles. That's in Kansas, I believe. And then it's on route to Edmonton, Alberta, where I still live 500 kilometers away from that or 300 miles. So if all goes well, we're gonna get around the middle of October and I have to go and get it on a day that the temperatures are favorable. So the tires can stay warm enough because there's summer tires that come with it to drive it home. I have been looking at bringing the winter wheels as a backup if I have to throw them on, but we won't worry about that yet. We will see what the weather is going to deliver us and make that decision. Now the problem with waiting when you're getting a brand new vehicle, <laughs> if you're anything like me, you start accumulating things that you know you're going to want for the vehicle when it arrives. So we are going to unbox some of these items. Who doesn't like a good unboxing? And see if everything here is for the C8. And this will give you a little bit of a preview of the build and what we're planning. So let's get right into it. All right, I'm gonna do all of this one-handed so I can hold the camera. But let's start with this one here. Make your guesses now. But this is for the C8 radiators for the grill guards because if anyone knows with the C8, they have zero protection in the front grills to keep the radiators from getting slammed with rocks and debris. Um, so these can be installed and they don't inhibit everyday performance. These are a necessity if you get a Corvette C8. This is just a generic brand, but this is still made out of aluminum. I didn't want to spend $400 Canadian to get a set at this point. Maybe down the road, but just for the winter, I'll be using this next. All right, next we got this box right here. It's a little bit heavy. You can hear it. I'll just try and open it right there. Kind of hard to get a grip on it. Here, let me turn on my light. There we go. You probably know what this is. We have 20 millimeter hub centric spacers for the C8. These should be good. Remember I'm in Canada, so my options in Canada may be different than yours. I got these out of Montreal. So I will be installing spacers on the C8 because I want to have that flush to the wheel wall look. Next. Well, let's go with all the little ones first. This is tricky left-handed. Here we have jacking pucks. Anodized aluminum, four of them made for the C8. So we need these. These are a necessity to jack up the car, to safely jack up the car. All right, next. Now these, aren't specific to the C8, but this one's got a good little story behind it. If all goes well, in the very near future, this box and this box both contain goodies that we will be giving away to somebody very deserving of these items. So these were sent over by our friends at SeaTech. This is pretty cool. We've got a carry case. We got a brand new, never opened CS free four in one smart charger. That is a primo device right there. And this is a giveaway. This is something that we are going to give away on the channel in the near future. So stay tuned. Now we have another box here also involved in a giveaway. 
I hope I'm triggering everybody with my left-handed cutting with a box that doesn't weigh anything because I can't keep the knife straight. I just don't want to cut what's in it. There we go. All right, look at that. A very nice backpack from SeaTech. We got some other goodies in there. I'm not gonna show all of it because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise when the giveaway happens. And a reusable shopping bag. So these are going to be giveaways. Again, I keep repeating myself, but in the near future. So if you want to watch a feel good video when this gets given away, hopefully it does that. I like to give back when I can. All right, next. Okay, so we have three items left. You can see stickers on these two. These are my first two sponsored items for the C8. They didn't reach out to me. I just reached out to a number of Corvette accessory suppliers and uh, Extreme Online Store was willing to send me some parts. So why wouldn't I do it? And it gives you the opportunity to see these things be installed in the detail that you come to expect on this channel on the C8 when it arrives, and these two things will be installed very early on in that process. And then this little bag I'll save for last because it's kind of neat, and I wanted to share that with you. And I started opening this one here, but because these are body parts, I am going to set the camera down to unwrap them because it's kind of hard to unwrap this stuff with one hand. All right, so we have the 5VM style carbon flash metallic two-piece splitter for the C8 Corvette. This should look better than the Z51 splitter that comes with the vehicle. There's one seam right here, it does bolt together. I'll do a full thorough install on that. But here's a preview of probably the first bolt-on cosmetic mod that we're going to do as soon as we get it. So thank you to Extreme Online Store. We will get this going for you. All right, now for the big Lebowski. Well, what do we have here? Comes with six bolts. Oh, there we go. You were thinking side skirts. This is not side skirts. My biggest fear with shipments like this is damage. Let's hope there isn't any damage. There you have it, our carbon flash metallic ducktail spoiler. And look, I've already put fingerprints on it. But just inspecting it closely here. Got a little abrasion right there. I think that can probably be cleaned up. It's not deep, it's just on the clear coat. But overall, she looks pretty good. Okay, so duckbill spoiler. Thanks again to Extreme Online Store. We'll be putting that on soon too. Now this might look like the last item, but I assure you we got a little more to talk about. But let's have a closer look at this. Ooh, we got a nice, fancy tea bob. It's aluminum. We got a fake leather pad in the back here. But it's super lightweight. But that should help us protect our key. People ask about these things, so now we have the key fob. Okay, so that's the unboxing. I'm just gonna open the garage, show you a couple things on the AT4, and then we'll wrap this up. Man, it gets dark out quick here. Okay, so I have something very exciting coming up for the EGR roll track. That's coming very soon. Stick around, you'll wanna see that video. We go up front here. These lights that I put in by Putco in the front, the plastic is very white. And by the way, this middle clip is removable. 
I just haven't taken it off. But if you don't want to use the mount that's in the back, you can take that clip off and then it's seamless all the way across. I just haven't done that. Some people have been asking. Now this white plastic does stand out quite a bit. So I am going to tint it, at least attempt to. And I'll share with you what that looks like and if it inhibits any of the light. we got to test it out, right? I'm also going to be making a video, not about the AT4, the Escalade, or the future C8, but the F-150, it is a truck that we own as part of our small business. Its interior is starting to look a little dated. We are going to do an interior refresh. I'll leave it at that. But the company that does a refresh to help this truck, they also make things for this truck. But I thought maybe I'd try it out over here before I consider trying it out over here. So stay tuned for that video because what you see here can also be done here. So hopefully you understand the point I'm trying to make. So I think this is a good place to end the video. But before I go, just, you gotta, you gotta check this out one more time. But look at this garage sign, iconic badges sent over. Like, so nice. They're a great group of people there. And we have a giveaway I'm gonna announce on my channel. It's a whole different video. Don't know if you watched it yet, but it had to do with the giveaway. It was when I did the tailgate seal, which has been working well, by the way. But if you watch the tailgate seal video, it talks about a giveaway we're doing for three months with iconic badges. The September one ends very soon. So go back and watch this video so you can kind of know what's going on for the future videos and the other two giveaways. But I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you liked just this no nonsense behind the scenes update on some of the things happening with Don's life. So if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.